<laughs> what? What are you doing in there, man? Who is it? Don't come in here! Don't come in here, man! What Fuck! What are you fucking doing in here, dude? Nothing! I'm just eating some peanut butter. What are you watching? Uh, it's, it's called Jintama, man. It's an anime man's anime. I wouldn't expect a fucking plate like you to understand. Can I watch? No! I'm watching it. You can't watch it with me and you can't have my peanut butter. Get the fuck out of here, Lucas. Come all on. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alex, Alex, what's wrong, man? <laughs> Lucas. Lucas. I just watched every anime on I'm my anime you, list. Top 100 that's ever been made. Why don't you just watch something on Netflix, dude? <laughs> Netflix? What the? <laughs> <laughs> How could you say that to me right now? I've seen everything on Netflix. Everything on Netflix fucking Why don't you just watch The Office again, man? The Office? You're really saying The Fucking Office to me right now? Did you just throw your fucking inhaler I've seen that shit 17 times this month. What do you want me to do? Okay, all right. Never fucking just get out of here. Okay, all right. Fucking moving out. <laughs> Spare a few episodes. Oh. Fucking Cheerios. Why don't you just watch The Office again, man? Hey, Alex, man, what are you doing here? Oh, hey Lucas, what's up? Um, I just, you know, I got my resume here and everything. I just figured since I've seen every anime that's ever been created and stuff, and like everything on Netflix too, I should probably uh, give up my weeb lifestyle and get a job, you know? Wait, you didn't hear? Hear what? They have this new Netflix show. It's where they put Japanese people in a terrace house and see if they fuck. Let's check it out! Take that as a lesson, kids. Once you go Japan, you're no longer a man. So strap yourselves in, kiddos, because today's episode is on Terrace House, a lovely new addition to the dwindling catalog of interesting things on Netflix, made even dwindlinger by the fact that they're taking the office off in like a week. And what exactly is it? Well, it's kind of like if you took all the scripted bullshit from other reality shows like Big Brother and Love Island it's like dry the wolves. and you brought it to the most polite country on the planet. And once you do that, what you're basically left with is a bunch of 20 year olds asking each other if they want to go to the mall. I mean, on a good day. Usually nothing that exciting happens. What? I don't buy that for a fucking second. There's no way. Yeah, but in all seriousness, it could have used a little help in the spice department. You know, maybe sprinkle in a little spicy sauce here and there. <laughs> it's kind of like this. Reality is like a flat booty. Kind of bland, nothing really to look at. You add a little stuffing, maybe some Roblox or something, it looks good. But then you start getting the surgeries, the balloons, the fucking silicone, and you end up with all that Kardashian shit. And that's how you end up with something like this. <laughs> Now I've seen about as much of this show as I can stomach, but today we're going to analyze an episode of Terrace House Aloha State, which takes place in glorious Hawaii, birthplace of Barack Obama, uh, failed missile warnings, uh, among other things. But Alex, Hawaii is not a part of the Japanese. To which I would say, one, you're right, and two, you're retarded. Because anytime you bomb somewhere, you basically own it. In all seriousness, I think this is an attempt by the producers of Terrace House to make the show a little more palatable for Western audiences. I also find it kind of interesting that even though five out of the six contestants speak perfectly good English and they're living in an English-speaking country, they never seem to speak it among themselves. I feel like the producers definitely caught them doing this once or twice and were like, hey, remember who's paying you, motherfucker. So you might be wondering about now who these old guys are, as was I. I thought I was in this for some thick young Japanese bootay, not some fucking World War II vets trying to figure out how an iPad works. Well, these guys aren't even the meat and potatoes of the show, they are merely the color commentators. But why, Alex, do you need color commentary over a reality show that is not the Super Bowl? 
Because, fucko, every 10 minutes the action needs to stop so that these masterminds can decryptify the seven-dimensional cobweb that is Japanese social etiquette. So the average viewing experience ends up looking a little something like this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where the money is in this show, because I can safely say after watching more Terrace House than 9 out of 10 dentists recommend, that I will never, NEVER fully understand Japanese society. Because in my humble opinion, you can find some real relaxation and educational value in pondering the complexities of Japanese society, and the whole thing reads more like a David Attenborough documentary than a reality show. This guy, by the way, is by far my favorite character, and he even gets his own arc in the fifth volume of the manga. He's apparently known in Japan as this lovable loser comedian kind of guy, and he's always trying to antagonize the most attractive or romantically successful guy in the house. Until that is, he marries a Japanese supermodel and his entire fan base gets worried that he'll stop being funny because finding true love means that he'll no longer be able to thwart young romance. Now let's meet the cast. This shit is like clockwork and they crank out what is essentially the exact same cast every single time. They have two hot model chicks, a sporty girl, an actor, a guy with a regular job, and some young fucking weirdo. I swear they got this shit down from like two quadrillion hours of market research. And I like that this is definitely indicative of the general population. I mean, last time I checked, I think it was around 33% or something like that of people that worked in the modeling industry, so I can appreciate the realism there. My two favorite characters in Aloha State are this girl and this guy. This girl I'm pretty sure can barely speak Japanese since she comes from China and she learned it by herself. I like her because she's the only person to actually become successful after the show, as evidenced by the fact that her name is highlighted on Wikipedia. This whole thing kind of reminds me of Tyra Banks' show, America's Next Top Model, which really should have been sued for fraud by now, since appearing on it all but guaranteed that you would be blacklisted from the mainstream modeling industry. And second is this guy, a struggling magician straight out of high school who comes right out in the first episode and says, <laughs> Not really the best introduction on a romantic reality show, but I can't really blame him on his poor tactics, since a week ago the highlight of his life was probably his bi-weekly marching band practice. Anyways, this guy just kind of fucks off after 10 episodes after realizing he ain't gonna get none from these international supermodels, and he was never heard from again. But you know what? He's inspired me. Because if some band nerd can go live in a house with Japanese supermodels, then so can I. Alex, what are you doing now? Uh, you know, Lucas, I got this form out to be on Terrace House, but the whole thing's written in these hieroglyphs or something. I'm pretty sure that's Japanese, dude. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure this is hieroglyphs. But if you press this button here, it brings it back to good old American, so it doesn't really matter. The next time you see me, I'm gonna be a Japanese superstar. <laughs> What's wrong now, man? <laughs> It's too hard, man. I can't be on fucking Terrace House. They want me to know Japanese. I can barely speak English. They want me to go to fucking school. All I got is half a semester of interpretive dance. And they I gotta have a fucking job. I worked at Taco Bell for three days and then they fired me for eating the jalapeno poppers. Hey, come on, man. If you believe, you can achieve. You really think so? No, but your rent is up. And I need the fucking cash, man. Gwyneth? Hello? I got your McNuggies! Wait a minute, this is a fucking bridge. I can't believe this. I got scammed by somebody on fucking Uber Eats. I'm never gonna get a job. I'm never gonna be on Terry's house. Oh my God, my life is over. Alex, Alex, it's okay. It's what? Okay. You haven't even put in the application yet. You know what, Lucas? Once again, your wise words save a life. I love you, man. I also haven't taken out the life insurance policy on you yet, so don't do it yet. Well, that's just... Well, I guess I don't need this anymore. 